welcome back into Icarus. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in for a mission. We're going to do, we're still on Olympus. We're over on the Riverlands still. We're in here, but we've done quite a few of them, right? All these are done. So that's done. So now we're up to wet work. Ooh. Eliminate an alpha. This, this, this could be interesting. Sure. This one's for Sinatai. They want it done quick and clean. Wildlife's been causing problems for their people down there. It's been uh, making a hell of a mess and not leaving a lot of witnesses. So they're not exactly sure what kind of predator you're hunting or how many there could be. But you can handle that, right? Sure, sure, sure. Why not? Uh, yeah. We got seven days to do this. The last time I did an alpha predator, it was, I think, the, the wolf in the forest. And uh, we, we tracked it back to its den. And it kept popping in and out of dens. And I had to... I couldn't hit it when it was in a den. But after I got it through all of its dens, so basically I had to kill it like three different times to... Uh, to finish and so we did use a cobblestone hut to do that one and so i think we'll probably do this again get all my normal stuff yep go down curve and load out let's go ahead and land so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to tech into actually i think i'm going to check into concrete i've got seven days so i'll tech up into concrete and then um, establish a hunting blind by wherever it is i'll start to track it but i'm not going to i'm not going to finish the tracking until i've got myself uh, up into concrete and we're down okay you're here for Cinetai. and if you get it right they'll be there for you well they they have been stalking their teams but no one's totally sure what you're tracking it hasn't exactly left a lot of survivors the most recent sites marked on your map. Start there. See if you can run this one to the ground. And uh, watch your back. Thanks. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do a tech up. I'm thinking, what am I likely to run into? Given that uh, there is... The aggressors here in the marshland have been, what, bear and wolf? Am I forgetting anything? It's bear and wolf. So that means the apex is likely either to be another wolf or it's going to be a bear. And I think it's probably a bear since we've done a, we've done a wolf. And um, I don't I don't see them just repeating the same old thing again. Of course they could, but who knows? We'll see. Okay, so let's start getting some crafting on. Uh, axe. Need more. That we get our initial setup going. Get my bow, and then I start getting some arrows, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, stickies. Whoa. And that should be enough arrows. All right, we're good. Now let's take a look at that. I'm heading down a dead away. It's not a bad area, actually. Uh, search. For, yeah, so this is going to be uh, sighting stuff. So this is not not going to be all that worrisome for me. Uh, let's go ahead and chop down a tree, and then we'll get going. That way I can start crafting some things along the way. And also, as been noted uh, on my comments, I am going to attempt, or attempt. I'm going to use the repair hammer as my upgrade hammer. I did notice that the upgrade hammer disappeared uh, not too long ago, but I have uh, uh, and I have not attempted to do a replacement of a piece, an upgrade. Um, I have consistently destroyed and replaced, so uh, we will attempt to do the upgrade this time. Let me get over towards this place, and we'll get things cranking. First things first. Uh, one, two, three, four ramps. That way, if I need to, I can run up to hide. 
What am I shy of? What is it? Ah, okay. I'll grab a little bit more wood. All right, I'll see you over towards the first marker. Ah, here we go. Either. If you're wondering whether you're on the right track, there's your answer. Thanks. All right, let's turn off the light. Quick look at the map. Where are we going? Down there. Okay, so there was a node here. I think I set up a place down here once. There's a couple of uh, there's a couple of caves around here, so I think I can probably approach this area and uh, set up a, a, a base of operations. I've got everything in my inventory now except for the uh, the bedroll. And why don't we go ahead and consume that stack there just to make a space. And as typical, I'm waiting until I get where I'm going before I do... Ooh, you might have enough fur. Before I uh, set up my oxygen dissolver. All right, let me start working my way over that place. I thought I'd stop here at a, a place in the way here, right? I'm right here. This is a uh, cave. I'm going to go in here and grab a uh, some iron so that when I establish my place, I can could, I could go right into a forge and get that all cranking. Just the light out. Let's actually, I'll probably go knife. Where are you, buddy? I feel like I must have already passed it. No? Where are you? Happy to take you down. All right. And then grab a stack of iron and continue on. All right, all done with that cave. I've got what? One, two, 320 something. Hey, yeah, 325 of uh, iron. That should do me pretty well. I've got a little stack of coal out of that. And I also took a stack of copper. So let's keep going on to the next location, which is going to be. I might just. I'm, I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look it out I'm, gonna, I'm I might go to one of these places I want to stay out of this circle here I don't want to trigger the event until I'm ready whoops I started I started a fight my bad oh he almost got me there The rubber band going. Charge me, buddy. Did I get a crit? I think I did. And nope. Wow. There we go. The lag. The lag there was real. All right. Well, I should get enough fur out of this guy. I'm full up, so I'm gonna have a hard time taking it all. What could I not take? Uh, yeah, we'll destroy that. Oh, God. T-bone? Sure. I'm going to take the T-bone steak over the, the regular meat. There we go. And then I'll take the bones. And just, this is the this is the very place, by the way. That's where the exotics were last time. And no exotics. Oh, well. But we're pretty close. Let me get over here. I'm going to start setting myself up a 2x2 uh, a two two in wood. And then we'll drop the workbench, the oxygen dissolver, go into a forge, get the forge up to an anvil, anvil into masonry bench, masonry bench into cobblestone. And another bear. Am I slowing down?
Okay, this is getting silly. That's the third bear. He's got me. He's got me on his... He's got me in his sights. Oh, shoot. There we go. You, could you stop? Three bears in a row. I'm getting, I'm getting definitely this impression that we're going to be playing with a bear. Oh, wow. There we go. Oof. All right. Given that, I think I'm going to go back here and build up just a little bit away from other things. There's still going to be a bear issue, but at least back in here I might have a little bit of peace and quiet. A little a little bit, maybe? Who knows? Right, let me set it up. Well, we do have a, uh, a thing coming in. I wonder... If I just hit this, what we put now? Do I have to hold an R? Uh, concrete, cobble, stone. Hmm. Uh, rotate, variant, refocus, drop, item, no. Repair, upgrade. Oh, okay. Look at that. Would oh, you look at that? And there's my stuff. Excellent. Can I... Can't replace those because they are not bases. They are floors. But I got a, I got a thing coming in right now. A storm. There we go. So I wanted to get that done fairly quickly. All right, well, I've established myself. We went from a two by two wood. We did some upgrading, as you saw there, to the stone. But then I found that as I tried to extend, I was I was really clipping through the rocks, and I didn't like that. So I moved over a, a little bit. And now we've got ourselves three by three all in cobble. So we're, we're in pretty good shape. I've heard a bear out there once or twice, but he's not close. So he's probably like way over one of these places over there. Um, we've got the the forge, the masonry bench, the anvil over here. We've got ourselves the oxygen dissolver, our herbalism bench, and our mortar and pestle over there. Um, a textile bench here, and uh, the crafting bench. And the crafting bench is now ready to create the machining bench. So we are screaming along here at a pretty decent rate. Let me just take a look at the time here. So we've used about an hour of our seven days. So that's, that's working out pretty good for me, I think. All right, let's go ahead and um, I think I'm going to go this way. I'll just line them up along the way there like I did the last time. All right. Uh, next up, where are we go we're going into cement mixer. So I need a, a few nails and a few rope. I have both of those here. Rope. Not enough nails. Probably get a uh, small bit of nails here. There we go. Rope and nails. What else do we need? One more iron, uh, wood, and stone. Wood, stone. One more iron. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Yep. I'm one iron short of getting into the concrete mixer. Of course I am. Oh, well. All right. So what are we going to from next? Where to from here? Uh, we have a, a couple of caves nearby. We've got a cave 
here. We got a cave right up there. We've got a cave right with us, but it's inside here. It's in there. I'm not sure I want to trigger that. And we've got the cave we did before, which is right there. So I'm going to start doing some cave diving, uh, and then we'll get into steel gear and, and start taking up some more from there. So let me go ahead and grab some stuff out of these nearby caves. All right, quick check in. I'm over here at this cave. I've just cleared it out of all the iron. Uh, and I have myself near, I'm, I've, I got myself in the warning zone of the weight. So we'll be heading back with this. So I've got some uh, coal, some copper, and a whole bunch of iron. Um, I got a stack of, of stone, but I triggered a couple of times on the mine all thing. And I got big old chunks of, of, of stone. So I just, I, can, I converted them into piles. And I just stacked them here, and I'll come back, and maybe I'll pick them up as I'm grabbing miscellaneous stuff. There is a, uh, well, there is a bear on the way, so if we run into the bear, we'll have to stop. We'll... Thought I'd do a quick check-in about three hours, a little over three hours in, and I've got an alteration bench up, and I've added a basic scope to my recurve bow, and I've added a mining gold, you know, goldsmith uh, mod to my steel pickaxe, because I need more gold. I'm pretty close to having the fabricator now. I just need to go out and keep getting more gold for that. I also have the kitchen bench up, and I've I made all of the tonics, and I have all the stuff to create the uh, pills for them. So I'm going to go ahead and create all the pills. So the tonics will cure whatever it is. The pills will, uh, will, will give you immunity to whatever it is for about 10 minutes. So you can see there are it's a six, 600 seconds. Yes, yeah, so that's 10 minutes. So that's pretty good if I know what I'm going to be going into. Like if I want to go into a, uh, a cave and do a lot of mining rather than running in and out as I usually do to avoid getting uh, the bronchitis or whatever, I can I can just take a pill. Uh, and so that's going to be nice. Uh, protect against poison. You know, I can probably take all of these once before I, I get into a fight too. If I'm going into the big fight. Um, I've got the biocomposter over here. I've got one biofuel can done. Uh, and I have also created the biofuel extractor for when I do find a exotics. I need a little bit more gold to get the radar. I'm thinking what I should do is try to get the radar up and running, find out where this thing is, drop the extractor, and then come back and continue to do my work. Um, I have also mined out this mine and uh, this mine are both completely mined out, nothing left. So I'm going to be heading up here shortly to this one to try to get all of the stuff out of that. I think I have enough titanium to do a set of titanium equipment, including upgrading the bow. Uh, I think since this is going to be an alpha, I'm going to want to go after max bow. I might even want to go through compound arrows or uh, composite arrows to get the maximum damage I can uh, on, on this fight. So... Uh, I get continued to uh, tech up, and I will be back. Well, we've hit another milestone here. We've got the new fabricator up, so let's go ahead and grab that. Um, we need some more room over this way, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this in on the other side of the bench. Wow. There we go. We got that going. Uh, and now I can do platinum, no, titanium stuff, right? Yep, I need some carbon fiber. Yeah, so I'm probably going to go do some titanium pickaxe, fire axe, you know, just get the set um, and add in some mods to it. Um, I took out the gas can. Uh, the next thing I have is also I have set up the... There's the 2x2 two two in concrete for the uh, alpha critter, so we're done with that. And I've also set up here. No, right up. This. So let's go ahead and start that guy up. I usually like to put it up somewhere. We found that if we put it up too high, that spawning becomes an issue. This isn't too high. And there's an easy access to us here, so we might actually get attacked. But there is some defense from a couple of areas where if I get attacked from over here, 
uh, the, the, the critters are likely to get stuck. So I'm just trying to restrict as much as possible from where I get attacked. Case in point. Oh, yeah. That works just fine. Oop, a bear. And I don't, he's not part of our attack. It's just these two guys. And how's the reading coming along? Let me get over here and see if the reading is. Almost done. Excellent. We'll uh, open this thing up, take out my biofuel can, and grab this. Thank you. Probably going to have to deal with this bear. I think this will be the fourth bear at the house because uh, they come up whacking the side and I, I, I shoot them through the window. It's no big deal, so I'm not really grabbing it for you guys. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, crap. Seriously? Now that's close enough that I won't be able to do another scan. Really? All right, let's put this thing back here. Grab the extractor. Go hunt that thing down. Dogs are all cooled off. Bear's probably going away. Uh, that puts it what right, like right there. That's actually very fortuitous for us. I was concerned that it was going to be somewhere halfway across the map, and then I was going to have to make a, a track over there and just make it, you know, wait all on its own. Okay, so this is the same spot we saw before right there, but this moved a bit more down here. Hey, I'm busy here. Stop, stop with the, the, the weather. No weather. Aha! Here we go. Found it. And it goes. Oof. Ouch. Alright, let's see if we can get back. I'm going to let that other piece crank away a little bit. Uh, I'm still going to be teching up into my titanium and into my bow, which is going to require composites the composites is going to require the material processor the material processor is going to require uh the biofuel generator i got a lot more work here to do but we'll come back because we've seen most of this stuff you know progress so just so you know where i'm teching up to take care we'll be back in a minute all right well i've I, since the last time we, we created a second floor i've got a biofuel generator there i also put down a um, a windmill I put the windmill down because I need to get sponges, or I would like to get some sponges. We'll see. I'll talk about that in a second. I made a full set of health enhancement, strength enhancement, stamina enhancement. There's one more, but I need to get the sponges for it. And then we got the pills for antibiotics, blood thinning, antiparasitic, and anti-poison. I doubt I need all that stuff, but I'm just kind of going overboard. Um, I've got a tank of fuel here. I'm going to go over here because I've been doing this for a little while. I'm going to go over here and swap out my uh, my tank on the exotic, which is like right over here, I think. I don't know if there's a way of finding sponges in the water. I looked, but didn't find any. So I think the only way you can get the sponges so far is off the uh, the water mill. All right, that's a quick, uh, how many did I get? 40, uh, 50? Oof. Well, it is enough to do the research. So at least there's that. All right, I think I'm going to put this away in here. I don't even carry it around with me. Won't help. And the drop pod's too far away to preload. All right, so the other thing that's going on here for me is, as I was trying to tech up here, uh, 
I'm, I'm running into a serious gold issue. I'm running out of gold. And I, I'm not finding a clean, easy way of getting a, a replacement for it. So on the map, I, I have found, I think, about five or six nodes. Um, all of them are either coal, some aluminum, and copper. I haven't found a gold node. If I found a gold node, things would be good. But I've completely cleared out the, the, uh, the, the cave up here. I've completely cleared the cave over here. And I have completely cleared out the cave over there. I have looked in this cave down here, taken whatever gold there was. And I even went all the way over to here and to get some gold out of this cave here. So I'm, I'm going to have to do some serious hiking if I want to do some more gold. So if I do that, then I'm probably going to end up thinking, I could take the cementation furnace with me, or the cement furnace with me. But I, I feel like that's not going to help. Um, not, not, uh, not enough. What am I missing? I'm missing, uh, some epoxy. So I'm thinking I might just go in and try this thing out and see what happens. If I get, if I get hammered, I can come back and take it from here. Uh, there's where I'm looking for. Where's my epoxy? 23 there and 29. Okay. I think I need, I need more tree sap over here too, don't I? Yeah, I do. I need tree sap for this. All right. Well, let me, uh, let me, let me get set up here, and then we'll, we'll maybe we'll go and play with that dude.
All right, let's go up here and take a peek. Uh, if it triggers, it triggers. We'll deal with it. I have a feeling it's going to be on the top of this where we had the uh, the drop ship last time. If it doesn't trigger, I can always take a look inside this cave right here. Oh, no gold, right? No gold. All right. Looks like it's dim. Good tracking. So I have to craft some animal bait. Okay. Well, that means that I have a chance to do some setup here, which I think I absolutely will. All right. Well, I put down a cooking station over here to cook up the meat. And, and basically, you just take regular meat. You do some fat. And then from that, you add uh, these two things together to get animal bait. And it allows me actually to poison the animal bait, too, down here by adding the animal bait with poison. So, yeah, it um, seems pretty straightforward. So we've done the poisoning. Now we need to place it near the cave. I'm assuming that the uh, poisoning is going to just put a dot on the alpha critter while I try to take it down. So we'll have to see how that goes. Also, I'll have to see if I can actually go for height somewhere. That would be good. Um, I've got eight more stone walls. I don't have any cobble. I mean, I don't have any more. Well, actually, you know what? Can I make one more wall? I could. I should probably have a wall in my inventory. Just so I uh, can replace a broken wall if it, if it happens. Okay, so I built my uh, big old cement piece here, and come on, yeah, there we go. Nice, yes. There we go. I'm just reinforcing the bottom a little bit. Okay, then we're going to swap this out for that. Now it says I should place that near the, the thing here. Let's just go ahead and take the 10 minute version of the uh, anti the, the protection pills. This is actually the first time I'll have used these. Hey, yep, I see all the things down at the bottom. Place the bait near the den. All right. Let me, let's get inside. And let's do these. Sounds like somebody came. Yep. Panther. Oh, this is going to be a while, huh? Okay. What? Okay, that's it. You're getting pretty lethal, aren't you? I suppose so. I guess it's a poison took him out. We got a little time left. So head back to the drop ship when you're ready. Let's go uh, carve him up. Black Jaguar. All done. I was expecting something more, but I think the poison probably made that easy. Either that or uh, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I mean, go swap out the exotics. All right, back at base, I've unloaded pretty much everything I'm not taking with me. Uh, and I have a two by two in concrete so that if something should happen as on the way, I can always drop that down. I also have a bedroll and a campfire with me. I should probably grab a couple of... There's my first plenty right there. I'm near max on my weight, but it should be all. It should all be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and mark my uh, exit. 
dear lord way up there all right we're gonna go we're gonna head on up i'll be back and we made it back to our up made here it. made it yep now you're gonna need to search the area wait if you're wondering whether you're on the right track there's your answer what looks like it's thin good tracking <laughs> <laughs> my life is flashing before my eyes. <laughs> okay, that's it. You're getting pretty lethal, aren't you? Yep. Are we done? Very good. I'd say we're finished here. Mm -hmm. And you're still breathing. That's a win. If you're aiming to impress Sinatai, I'd say you succeeded. They'll notice this. Huh. All right. Can I go now? All right. Let me see here. I've got all my exotics. I've got the the knife, the pickaxe, my gear. Yep. Okay. Just double checking. All right. Now we're back up here. Let's collect our stuff. So I have enough exotics. Claim my rewards. Thank you. Claim my exotics. More importantly, thank you. To uh, purchase, I mean to research, but not purchase the uh, the the Shui Shi pickaxe. So of these axes, I can get. I'm not looking at damage. Damage isn't really. I don't care about it. I'm looking for mining radius and yield. 60 and 125. 60, 125. 10% bonus to yield. And a bonus to copper and gold, which I'm always chewing on. This is basically the same thing with just, you know, the yield. And then up here I get a bonus to iron. And iron is usually not the thing I'm hurting for last after that i'm looking up here and i could do over encumbrance penalty i'm not really at the point where i'm getting overly encumbered by all of the ore that i'm carrying i uh i think i found a pretty good balance for that 70 plus 70 plus 60 148 130 so a greater attack speed 10 percent over encumbrance penalty 133 percent yield for mining 148 percent yield for mining all right, so no, Nevis is probably the one I'm going to go for, even though the mining radius is a little smaller because of the bonus. So we're going to research the Suishi. Okay. And now to buy it, I still need to get more exotics again. So I'm going to do another exotic thing. So let's talk about the mission. The The mission that we just did uh, out here, out on Olympus, we'll bring it back up here so we can see it. Was uh, this wet work one right here? Uh, I feel like well, I don't feel like the maximum tech required to finish the mission is tech level two. Um, I think you need uh, the mortar pestle, you need the cooking station. The cooking station comes out of the workbench, and so you're at tech two. And that'll get you everything you need to take on the guy, including um, you get to put up like a wood hunting thing. I, I don't think the Jaguar, once I teched up to tech four, it was a pushover. <laughs> and I think partly it was because of the poison to meat. I don't know how, how long that fight would have gone. It looked like my arrows were not doing a huge amount of damage. And so I'd probably have to hit him about 20 to 30 times. But once you're in a, a concrete bunker, you get the 20 to 30 shots. Um, I had to tech up to tech three at least so I could do the exotics. And again, I'm going to have to do some more exotics in the next one again. So I'll probably have to go to at least tech three to be able to do that. Um, I did get starved out on gold. I didn't have a gold node. And uh, the available gold in the various caves were adequate but not enough to fully tech into tier four i think when you're trying to start getting into a full tech four um 
integration, you know, fully equip yourself there, you need a lot of gold, you need a lot of copper. And uh, I think then you're going to get into the composites, and the composites are, God, what is it? It's been so long since the composites. Is it silicon and aluminum or something and iron? I, I don't remember anymore. I have to go look at it. So anyway, come back and join me. We have one more to go, which is the Big Shot Stockpile. Supply trophies for high-profile client. Uh, okay. So then after we finish that off, then we're coming down. I can come across here and also down through here. What, what do we got down here? Clueless extended survey. Or clustered clueless. That's me. Clustered extended survey. Conduct a multi-point survey. Concealment recovery. El Camino expedition, which gets me into the seven pillars, which I think is another desert area. Avalanche and snow scan, which is another glacial area. Six hours. Drop and go, huh? Wow. Uh, that's that's intense. All right. Come back and join me. Take care. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows and the corners of your mind. With the windows, I run, but I don't hide. I hear the call of the wild, whispering the name. No, I can't be tamed. My heart belongs to the night. I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, I'm a, I'm a.